What's up? It's Ruseku Gaming, your semi-daily car gamer. Today we're continuing Project Cars 2 and we're doing a fan request episode. Today's car is Rallycross Car Ulsbergs MSE Airx Supercar Lite. It has 315 horsepower from 0 to 60 miles per hour 2.59 seconds under 3 seconds and top speed is 230 kilometers per hour it weights 1210 kilos i think we are ready to go can you hear the exhaust pipe all right here we go here we in the north slide this is nothing more than world's most dangerous track, world's most dangerous uh, uh, race track, and the most longest when average race track is three to six kilometers long. This is 20 kilometers long, and this is 73 corners and over 300 meters elevation gain on this track this is the track that is probably the most iconic track in the world and used by car manufacturers to test their cars to the maximum limit because if they can survive Nord's life they can survive everything This car is definitely not made for Nord's life. <laughs> the gear ratio is a bit short, but Nord's life is track which is full of corners. So yeah, I think it's okay. Who is flying with helicopter in the middle of winter here? Okay, we are in the top gear. Top speed 184. 184. And this is still very drivable in these conditions. Oh yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Fuck, I love this car! Oh yes! Alrighty then. And uh, once again top speed here. Nord's life is looking absolutely brilliant in the hard winter. There's some ambulances. Drifting with this car is super easy because this is, I think, four-wheel drive and the gear ratio is so short that, I don't know, this car is capable of anything. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to avoid the hit for the, wow, the sunset, but I still couldn't do that. Well, what you gonna do? Better luck next time, McLean. Today is a Friday here where I live in Finland. And one of my, my friends is a nurse. And she said that Fridays are the most awful thing. Because there is a few types of patients that are coming to the hospital every Friday and they are usually very old guys senior citizens and they are coming to the hospital for one particular reason only and that is that they got something stuck in their anus that's right they have filled their a-hole <laughs> with an object that is stuck in the asshole and won't come out. Oh yes, I love this car. I love this. And the objects can be anything. 
there's actually no limit what there can be and this this friend of mine told that last week there was a rubber duck stuck in the old guy's asshole no not the last week a week after week, week before that yeah and now it's another Friday and she was expecting to see something something new new object that don't fit in humans anatomy and they have to fucking dig it out from the old guy's anus and she doesn't know if that's if the guy is enjoying the actual removing process more than the stucking in process so she doesn't know that is she actually uh, some kind of a whore digging up his asshole but usually they, there are guy nurses that are doing the dirty job because it is very disgusting for females uh, what she was saying that one time the same old senior citizen has stuck a toilet brush in her ass in his ass yeah toilet brush all the way and it got stuck there because the brush part is so terrible big terribly big whoa that wasn't so easy to drive with this crazy curb here in the winter I thought it would be much easier so what a story I'm sorry about I have to tell you but this but this is a long track there's a lot of time lots of time to talk about and lots of time to think about what makes people so crazy that when you are getting old you have to stuck things in your asshole I don't know let's get back to the uh, project cars topic even though I'm driving now with this uh, rallycross car I'm still gonna make a rallycross episode standalone rallycross episode for you guys because this is so different part of the game and I still will do a formula episode as well because I think the formula part in this game is actually a lot better than the new F1 2018 game made by Goldmasters. I love Goldmasters and I, I love their work. I liked a lot the new F1 game but I think in this it's so much better and the VR of course is a huge thing there and uh, yeah in that episode I'm gonna cover up why F1 2018 is not using VR support even in PS4 which should be now be the biggest VR device on the market because there's a There's a lot of consumers owning PSVR comparing to HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. Oculus Rift is now very cheap. $400 you can get the whole package. Same thing with HTC Vive, not not in 400 euros but 600 or something. Oh fuck. I'm crashing this vehicle. I'm using HTC Vive because I have bought this a year ago, more than a year ago, a year and a half ago, when this was the first, first released in May. And I've been very happy with this. Damn, I love to slide with this car. It's so easy to fix. It's un un unbelievable. The track is looking very cool. I don't know where the sun is. The sun is there. Behind those beautiful trees. 
184 <laughs> kilometers per hour. There's a Zeppelin. It is so nice. <laughs> it's so hard to drive with VR in the third person. There's just no point on this game. How hard it is. Of course when you're learning the stuff you will you will learn about it. I enjoy it more here in the cockpit. All right, that's it for this episode. This was a fan request episode. I can't remember the name who asked for rallycross car in Nord's life, but uh, some other guy asked uh, winter Nord's life. So I did a bit of combo here and made this thing. Hope you were enjoying. Thank you for watching. Please make more successions. What car should I drive next? I got a lot. I try to do as much as possible. Yeah, hope you will be happy with this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next time. Bye bye.